My special guest is Bibiana Domit, artist, mother, and the founder of Tully's, which Bibiana calls the first conscious brand for children. Tully's encompasses a book series, a TV series, a toy line, and snacks with plans for a movie in the works. Mm. Why, what, what does Tully mean? Tully is just the name of the cartoons. It came to me, and for me it's like a fun, uh, simple name. For Were you first an artist? Is that what started all this? Yeah. O sea, I'm an artist since I grew, since I was born, I think. I've been always creating and imagining things and painting. I did art shows. And then these characters, one day I was doodling in a piece of paper and the characters started appearing in my paper. And it was very funny because I, I drew them and I could see them almost alive when I drew them. And the name came to you And from... the name came to me, like the what, name, what, the personality. What do you mean by conscious? Okay, being conscious is being aware, no? So now I think in our world, we have to be aware of our, that our actions are creating our reality, no? So I wanna, this is a conscious brand, uh, meaning it is aware of where it's taking its decisions from, no? Of what is it trying to make. Is it all based on one character? No. So the first character came, and then she Tully. didn't want to be alone. No, no, no. That was Princess B, the one with the curly hair. <laughs> you I drew get... all those drawings? Yes. Yeah, they're terrific. And then all the friends started to come. So Nina Noodles, the Asiatic, mm. Messi Mo, the messy guy, but very fun. Pete the Poet, the honest one. Uh, Brainy Shoe, the brain. Were these all published in English? They haven't been published yet because this was seven years ago. In the meantime, in the process, I had my son, a boy named Pierre. And being a mother made me even more aware of the entertainment industry for children, of the massive plastic toy industry, why so cheap toys, of the unhealthy ingredients in the candy, in most of the candy, of the the values, low values that were communicating in the cartoons. So I said, I have these beautiful characters, why not use them to communicate something good to the children and to raise the standards of the, of the toy industry, for example. So you have books, a TV series, toys, etc., right? Yes. Who makes the toys for you? So the toys is like another passion that developed within the process, no? I said, that's my boy, and I started noticing that he was more excited when he opened the package of the toy than the actual toy. And the toy is mostly plastic yeah. right now, and it stays in our environment forever. So I said, there must be a better way where a toy can be fun for the kid, be in natural, natural material, and not pollute our planet. No? I thought of Latin American artisans and I went to Mexico because this is where I was born. And I went into these little towns to find the artisans and I got to meet them and these are people that they should be called royalty no? because they are, have so high values in life. They are very caring of each other. I was in the house of the artisan and he, he gave me all the toys. What are the foods? Yeah, these are called trompos. It's a Mexican toy, but it's wood. It's wood. Oh, those are wooden toys. Yeah, wooden toys. So right now, the, the mission with Tulis is to incorporate these artisans, pay them in fair trade commerce, and have these be the, the Tulis toys. So raise the standards. Great name, too. Yes. I'm told that 300 million tons of plastic toys were produced in 2013 alone. Yes, that's and plastic true. is harmful to the environment. Most children's toys are plastic, right? Yes, because they want to make them cheaper. It's like the highest value in decision making in the enterprises is make them cheap, cheap, cheap. But we as parents, why are we accepting that? Why is no one saying, why? Why am I going to buy a plastic toy and then throw it away three days after and stay in the environment forever? I think now we are uh, uh, ready for something better. No? You're running against the tide, though. Yeah, it's like David and Goliath. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yes. So why are most children's toys plastic? Is it cheaper to make? It's cheaper and it's made in China, in China mostly by women. They pay them terrible. My guest is mom and entrepreneur Bibiana Domit. We'll talk about her Kickstarter campaign for Tully's right after the break. We're back with Bibiana Domit. Many products. It's Tully's. Where can we get any Tully's now? Right now, this is where I, why I'm launching the campaign. Because right now, you can find the Tully's products in my house. So how are we raising money? So this is uh, because I think this project is not all about me, me. It's about a win-win situation for everyone. And like, I would like to invite all the conscious parents like me that we want to raise the standards of the children entertainment industry, the brands out there. So this is why I planned a Kickstarter campaign where it's like a crowdfunding. So anyone that enters to the site can donate from $1 to 10,000, whatever they want. And this, I've been working on this for seven years, Larry, all by myself, like believing and believing and seeing what it's around and saying, how come nobody's doing anything? How come we're este, giving them candy, these guys in sugar and color, but that is causing them so much harm, no? There are some healthy lines of toys, aren't there? In toys? Yeah. Yes, they, uh, Europeans, there start to be some, but the power of this is that it's a whole brand. So I'm gonna uh, use the videos so the kids n relate to the characters, the books, the toys, Great idea. How do people get involved? Right now at this stage, they can, it's the perfect time to get engaged. They enter to the Kickstarter campaign, Kickstarter Toolies. How do they, they, what do they, they go on their website? On their website. On and they go to Kickstarter. Kickstarter and they find Toolies. T-U-L-L-Y-S. Yes, Toolies. And there is all the information about Toolies and how you can donate. It's very easy. Have you dropped journalism now, or do you still do? No, I still do it. I have a blog for moms. I write a blog for moms in a very well-known site in Mexico, and I give a lot of advices for moms. What got you so involved in this that encompasses your life for the last Yeah, year? I know. Like it's, I, I think it's like my life mission. I don't know. I like it very because it takes out all the creative part in me, but it's also where I can is to use this to help others. I think it can't, it can't miss. Yeah, me too, I hope. <laughs> but I've been doing this all by myself, like believing and believing and spending all my savings and continuing. And I got to a point very advanced, but now to launch the brand to the world. Is, uh, is Pierre like your guinea pig? Yes, You of test course. everything on yes. How old is he now? Five. Perfect Five. age. Yes, he, I read him the books. The one about patience, I read him one time, the book, and then he uses that example even to me. Mommy, you have to be patient like Nina Noodles. So I'm <laughs> sitting, so it works. Well, you're very talented. Thank you. You lived in both America and Mexico. Uh, Is parenting in different in the two countries? Is, are they a little stricter in Mexico? Mm -hmm. In Mexico, the thing is that we have so much help. Uh, sometimes you are not too involved with the kids because they are with the nannies. In America, I think it's a more one-on-one -on -one relationship. But also the American women work a lot, so... A lot of, lot of yeah. nannies in America, too. Yeah, you're right. What, what's your ultimate goal with Tully's? Where do you see it going? Este, my ultimate goal in Tully's is that by raising the standards, putting something better out there, the other companies, big companies, start saying, oh, now we have to take the petroleum out of the candy. Oh, now we have to este, use not this plastic toy, but wood, because someone else is like putting a higher, uh, better uh, product out there. So that would be my, my goal, to raise the standards and to have a, an overall better product for everyone, and also to help the artisans. Thank you so much. I, know, I thank wish you, you the best of luck. This thank is you. gonna take off. I'll go on it. I'm gonna, I'll be the first. <laughs> Okay. Thanks to my guest, Bibiana Domit. The Kickstarter campaign for Tully's launched February 23rd, 2016. Go check it out. That's Kickstarter Tully's. And as always, you can find me on Twitter at King's Things, and I'll see you next time.
Thank you.